Hi there, and welcome to the SAI Intelligence Conference 2019 here in London. And with me, Nada Massoud from the University of Michigan Ann Arbor. Welcome. Thank you. Could you tell me, what is the research that you are currently involved in? Um, well, in general, my research, uh, in my research, I'd like to uh, leverage two major current trends. One mm -hmm. of them, the sharing economy, and the other one, the connected and automated vehicle technology, and integrate them into our current transportation system. And the goal is to improve throughput at the system level in the transportation system. Okay, and um, is there any specific research that you're doing right now that you could share with us? Yeah, sure. I can talk uh, about the paper I'm presenting uh -huh, at Intelisys 2019. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this work is focused on level 3 autonomous vehicles according to the classification by the Society of Automotive Engineers, SAE. Mm -hmm. So in level 3 autonomous vehicles, the control authority switches between the human driver and the autonomous entity continuously. And so what we do, my research group, and this specific work is a collaboration uh, with researchers from the University of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So what we do here is that we devise algorithmic tools to basically tell us when this switch of control authority has to occur. And so there's a lot that goes into it. For example, we have to develop mathematical models uh, and we have to devise solution algorithms that are reliable and fast. But at the same time, another um, arguably more important part of the work is calibrating these models and coming up with the inputs. And so the specific work I'm presenting here is coming up with a set of risk functions that we have to incorporate in our mathematical models. I can give you more detail. So for example, in level three autonomy, let's say uh -huh. a hu the human driver is driving and um, the at specific environments, the risk level for the human driver increases and you want to see whether an alert should be issued and the control should be handed over to the autonomous entity or, or you have to keep the human driver mm -hmm. driving. And so there's a lot that goes into it. The risk of driving under that specific environment for the human driver, mm -hmm. the risk of driving for the autonomous entity, and there is an additional risk that happens when you want to transfer the control authorities, specifically when you're transferring from the autonomous entity to the human driver because and, and, and what, what makes this important research? Well, basically, there are a lot of um, benefits that are anticipated for connected and automated vehicle technology. Uh, for example, we can um, people talk about safety, mobility, and environmental mm -hmm. sustainability benefits. But to, uh, in order for these benefits to be actually realized in real world, we need to do a lot of research. And part of it is to build operational tools and algorithms and calibrate them properly to make sure that these benefits can actually be realized in a okay. safe uh, and efficient yeah. way. And what, what is your biggest problem at this moment? Well, I would say the biggest problem is lack of open source and comprehensive data. Mm -hmm. uh, there are data sets that we can use on driving assistance systems. Uh, an autonomous vehicle, in essence, is multiple um, driver assistance systems put together. Of course, it's much more complicated than that, but if we want to simplify it to that extent. And so there is some data on the failure of these drive, uh, driving assistance systems that we can use. Uh, but more importantly, we have a lot of test beds out there that we can use to do safety tests. But the problem is uh, there are a lot of OEMs that are running their own tests, but unfortunately they aren't sharing their data, and understandably so. But if they do, then their academic community would have a lot of data to work with, and together we can faster move toward mm -hmm. that ultimate goal of having a connected and an automated vehicle yeah. system. If you look at the distant future, mm -hmm. um, what will your research bring to the world? What is your ideal picture? <laughs> well, the ideal picture is having a system that is safer than what we have today. For example, in the US today, uh, we have uh, somewhat over 3,500 uh, uh, fatalities in uh, traffic crashes every year. And so autonomous vehicle can help bring down that number significantly if they are you know, implemented in the proper way. And there are other benefits, fuel efficiency benefits, improving mobility of people. And so the ultimate goal is that uh, making these systems operational so that we can realize these benefits. Okay, thank you. Yeah, of course. Thank you. And if you thought that this was an interesting talk, there's more on the website of the SAI organization. Please check it out or come to the conferences one time. Thank you.